Hello everybody, praise be to God, and welcome to the final episode of the logical journey of the Zumbinis, at least for the first half of the Let's Play. And I'm scared. I'm really scared, because we have to go to Who's By You, which is the last world we need to go to on the last difficulty. And things are going to get really hard. Level 2 won't be too bad. The other two are going to be nightmares. Oh my. I'm not ready. This is the toughest path to take at this difficulty. After days of hopping swampy, muddy ponds along the Who's Bayou Trail, the Zumbinis come to a river where there's but one way across. Oh boy. Oh boy. Why, look a here! Ooh, a gang of little blue onions! Okay, this might not look much different from the last one, but it is. <laughs> Captain Cajun's ferry boat, level 4. Seating on Captain Cajun's ferry boat is very important. Zumbinis can only sit next to each other if they have at least one matching feature. Same hair, eyes, nose, color, or feet. Now there are even more links between seats for a greater challenge. So it's the same 4x4 grid of chairs, except these two rows are shifted slightly, which means... Zumbinis in these four chairs here have to share one trait in common with six neighbors. Six. I am not looking forward to this. Well, I'm going to try what I did last time, which is just kind of put people here and hope for the best. Ah, sure. <laughs> Oh boy, okay. Well, this is gonna be tricky. Very there you tricky. Go, you got it. Very tricky. Doing decently well. There you go, you got Okay, we've only got the bottom few rows to go through. This is good. Ah, sure. Everything's good, except he doesn't have one thing in common with that guy. Okay. Hmm, what can I do to fix that? No, 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 oh, no, Oh, and he doesn't no. have something in common with that guy. Whoops. Ah, sure. Okay. Yeah. They have normal eyes, so... <laughs> Can we move him here? Could move him here and who? Ah! Nope. There you go. You got it. Well, that's a shame. He doesn't have a lot in common with them. We could move the guy down here. She could get moved down there. <laughs> I was gonna move him. Come on. Oh, this. This is the one I was most worried about, to be fair. This is definitely the one I was most worried about. There you go, you got it. Do I now? Ha <laughs> ha 
I can do that. Put him over there. No. Ah, sure. Should put him there. Put him here. That could work. Mm, that's a bit of a problem, though. Just that guy. Spiky hair, normal eyes. Ah, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Good. 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 Could put him here if it weren't for, well, and him. Darn it. Okay, well that didn't work. Let's try that again. Mm. Yeah, this one is so freaking hard. Well, because there's not really an algorithm you can follow to get to the end of the level. You just gotta hope. Let's try putting the spiky hair guys in the middle. And go from there. Sorry. Oh, no. That won't work. Back on shore, land lover. <laughs> That was rude, man. Come on. All right, let's swap it. You can go over here, and you can go over here. There you go. You got it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Gonna need all the normal-eyed people over here I can get. And that actually might not be enough. Spiky here, guy. You can go down there. You can go here. There you go. You got it. Okay, so that lines up. You can go there. Where were skates and sleepy? Oh, nope. nope. Forgot about him. No swimming in that. <laughs> Ooh. She's a perfect choice for that. Then we can put Mr. Sleepy Eyes there, and Mr. Sleepy Eyes here. Now the question is, can we do the rest of this? Outlook's not looking so good. So we're going to need a Cyclops here and a Cyclops here. Mm. Can we swap these two? Yeah, we can swap those two. Actually, I don't think that's going to do anything. Oh, wait. There you go, you got. So we can swap them. But that's not going to do anything for the greater good. We could put him in the middle. That's definitely an option. I'm not sure if that'll help at all, though. Because fewer people share traits of him than people do with him. Okay. I could put her in there. Ah, sure! sure. <laughs> nope. No, sorry. Really? You look so cute all soaking wet. <laughs> there you go, you got it. I don't got it, though. I don't got it. That guy is going to cause too much trouble, I think. <laughs> who could we put there who would be a good choice? She could be a good choice. She could be a very good choice, actually. 
And Blue Nose Cyclops? Ah, sure! We don't have another Cyclops, though, so that's... a bit of a worry. Kind of have to put her here, because she doesn't share features with a whole lot of people. Oh, wait! If we don't put him here, we could actually put her there. Someone who shares a tree. Oh! No. I don't have to put like him here because he shares very few traits with other Zumbinis. Hmm, that's gonna be a problem. Because we could do that. There you go, you got it. And then that, but then this last guy, if we put him here. No, 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 no. He doesn't fit with him. <laughs> oh, this, this is problematic. Hmm. Put him down there. Ah, sure. You've got roller skates and you're a cyclops. <gasps> ah. Oh! Oh! I did it! I did it! Oh my gosh! That's so unbelievably hard. That's one of the hardest puzzles in the entire game. Oh my gosh. Through the marsh they slug until our muddy little band happens upon the infamous Titanic Tattooed Toads. They don't eat zombies, do they? Ooh. All right, well, this is going to be our breather because the nice thing, this is no different from very hard. On very, very hard, this level is no more difficult than it was on very hard. So, start again. Find out which paths are already made for you. Oh, white is just a straight shot across. I don't think the help is any different. Titanic Tattooed Toads level 4. Each Zumbini needs a Titanic Tattooed Toad to carry it across to the field of lily pads to the other side. Most of the toads will follow a special path that matches the shape of the flower, the shape of the lily pad, or color of the stripe on the back. For example, a toad with a red stripe will follow a path of lily pads with the red flowers on the other, to the other side. Some toads cannot cross the river at all, and none, none will hop diagonally. Using the swapping stick, you'll need to swap some lily pads around to make your, uh, complete paths and get your Zumbinis across. To swap lily pads, click on the swapping stick, click on one pad, then click on the second pad to swap positions. Swap carefully because there aren't as many chances as before. Or there aren't as many charges as before. Beware of the lily pad crabs that can block your progress. The crabs move from the t uh, top to the bottom of the lily pad field and will not change their path or disturb a frog's path until certain lily pads are moved using the swapping stick. Alright, so if this one is any harder than it was last time, the only reason for that is because the, you need to swap more lily pads to create uh, complete the paths. But besides that, it's just the same. Alright. We need an hourglass with an orange lily pad. That works. And now we need a lily pad shaped lily pad with an orange on it. That one works. Cool. We created the orange path. Now looking at the blues, we need a wide shaped lily pad with a blue foot on it. That works. Cool. Now that they can go across. Red can go across, and white can go across, and purple can go across. Oh, actually, I didn't know. Red can't go across just yet. We need an hourglass lily pad with a red one on it. That works. Alright, and now we're going to need an X lily pad with a red one on it. Cool. And now let's try to find the symbol pads. We're not actually going to swap them all until all the colored toads are done. So... X, 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 X. Okay. Okay. Oh, the flower path is a 
all made for us, actually. That's pretty cool. Yeah, as long as you're very sparing with your swapping stick, it's this one is really quite easy. Especially when you compare it to Captain Kishin's Ferry and then the Stone Rise on the highest difficulty. Stone Rise on the highest difficulty might be the toughest puzzle in the game in terms of legitimate difficulty. Alright, so all we have left are the symbols, so... We need an hourglass shaped with an X. And another hourglass shaped X. Alright, so now they can do a straight shot across. And we're gonna, okay, now we need a Y shaped X. That's not part of the path, at least. Y-shaped X, one right there. We can send them across. Now we need to find a path for the diamonds. That looks like a pretty straight path, actually. We need an hourglass diamond. And then we need a, y a diamond with a Y on it, or a Y-shaped lily pad with a diamond. That works. Cool. That was surprisingly easy. Actually, not surprisingly, I remember this one being easy on the highest difficulty. This one is net once you know how it works, it's not really hard on any of the difficulties. It's your nice breather level, essentially, because <laughs> Captain Cajun's ferry boat. Ooh, man, that one's hard. All right, I, uh, I put it the next one there. Okay. And the crabs disappeared once I put the diamond guy on back again. Or at least they stop spawning, they don't disappear. Goodbye, Mr. Hermit Crabs. Thanks for unlocking the cage. All right, come on, Toady, hop to it. Yeah, I legitimately do not know the difference between this one and Very Hard, if there is any. If there's a difference, it's going to be... You just have to use the magic wand a bit more. But we still have more than half of the magic meter left, so it's not a problem. You've done quite well! All right, I gotta brace myself because Stone Rise is going to kick my butt, most likely. It's going to take a while. Zumbinis will get a rise out of these stone hexes if they can make the right connection. Okay. Much like Hotel Dementia on the hardest difficulty, get ready to faint when you see what this is like. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Stone Rise, level 4. The Zumbinis must link together and turn the stone elevators on and continue their journey. Link Zumbinis together according to one common feature, such as red noses. The symbols on the stone pad show you what attribute the Zumbinis must share. It might help to start with the two stone pads with the most required links and work your way out from there. Yeah! Forget those multiple chains. No, we've got one giant spider web of features. So you might just be wondering how, where the heck do you start? Well, I'm noticing there are a lot of links that require people to have the same nose color. So let's find the Zumbini with the most common nose color. That looks like blue. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Zumbinis with the blue noses. And we need to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Zumbinis that need to share the exact same nose across everything. Well, how about that? We already know where our blue Zumbinis need to go. So that's a good starting point. They need to have the same eyes, and so that's not going to work out. Here. You two need to have the same eyes. 
So that's where our, all our blue zombies need to go. So that's a good starting spot. Now we need to just kind of work outwards from here. Says so we need to have the same feet as that zombini, and they'll have the same nose as that zombini, and those two have you have the same eyes. So. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, that's not going to work out, because the only other per uh, Zumbini with the same hair as her is her. And we have no other propeller uh, Zumbinis with the same eyes, so... Either she needs to move, or she needs to move. I'm going to go on a limb and just say, let's try that. And let's try to move it with another Zumbini. So, for example, sure, this could work. And I'm just going to say there's nothing more satisfying in the entire game than hearing the elevator rise once you've gotten all of the Zumbinis on it on this difficulty. It's amazing. Okay, that looks good. Nobody has the same eyes as you, though, so that's a shame. We're going to need to swap you with him. All right. We need a bunch of Zumbinis with sleepy eyes. Oh, that's actually not going to work. But that's a good hint. We've got one, two, three, four Zumbinis. They need to have the same eye color that match one of these blue-eyed guys. That's going to be someone who's a Cyclops, me thinks. Because we've got one, two, three, four, five, six Zumbinis who are Cyclops. Two of them are going to have to be... Oh, wait. I've got a better idea. Oh, actually, hang on. I had it right the first time. So we need two Zumbinis here that have the same eyes, but it also has to match the same eyes here and here. So four Zumbinis with the same eyes, then four more over here, all with the same eyes. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six Zumbinis who are Cyclopses. However, we also have a Zumbini with normal eyes over here, and we have quite a few normal eyed Zumbinis over around these parts. However, now we've broken the link over here, which is not good. So this is going to take some moving around, but once you know where the blue nosed Zumbinis go, that's going to be a big step up. Same feet, same eyes, same hair. No Zumbinis have ponytails, so she... None of these Zumbinis can go there. So it's got to be him, her, or him. Let's try swapping them. No spiky haired Zumbinis that are, don't have blue hair are going to mm -hmm. be able to have the same eyes as a person with a propeller. Okay. Fair enough. Let's bring this guy. Oh no, same problem. No, it's got to be her. Actually, no, it doesn't. We just need to have a different a Zubini with different feet over there. Except that's actually not going to work out, because the Cyclopses have to be there, I think. Because they're the only two people, Zubinis, with blue noses that share the same eye, except for those. But they're the only people with sunglasses, and we need more extra, extra links over there. So, they're out. All right. Those free Zumbinis, I'm almost positive are placed right. If they're not placed right, just swap those two. Now, we need a Zumbini. This Zumbini has to have the same feet as this Zumbini, who has to have the same feet as that Zumbini. So these free Zumbinis all have to have the same feet. So out of the Bruno Zumbinis left, we've got one with no uh, feet, and then the other two. Uh, the other three all have propellers, so the two here are going to need to have propellers. Good to know. And it can't, she can't be here. That's just not happening. He also can't be here, because we have no spiky-haired guys with propellers, so 
by process of elimination, she has to go here, which means by process of elimination, she has to go here, which means we need a propeller cyclops. Please tell me we have a propeller cyclops. We don't have a propeller cyclops. Oh dear. <laughs> so you can't go here. Propeller with spiky hair? No, no propeller with spiky hair. Oh, we don't need a propeller guy with spiky hair, though. We need a spiky haired guy with the same eyes as somebody. Oh, well. That changes everything. That works. Someone needs the same eyes as her. Someone needs the same eyes as her. We need a bunch of normal eyed guys who have the same eyes as her. So all the normal eyed guys I think would have to go over here. Then we need some cyclopses. You two are in the wrong spot. This is odd. I must not be doing something right. With one, two, three, only four zoom meetings with normal eyes. So. We need five zoominis to have the same eyes here, so we know this has to be a line of cyclopses. It has to be a line of cyclopses. No two ways about it. Alright, so putting these guys off. Cyclopses have to go there, and what feet they are doesn't matter, so they are right. Then we need four Zumidians with the same eye color, or the same eyes, as one of the Blue Nose characters. We have... The sunglasses guy cannot go there. The glasses girl cannot go there. Sleepy-eyed guy can't go there, because there's only three sleepy-eyed guys. So she does have to go there. Which means everybody with normal eyes does have to go over here. I am doing that correctly. I am very confident that this is correct. The question is, which Zumbidis need to go over here? Same feet, same feet, same feet. It's got to be propellers. So we need a propeller guy over here, and then it has the same eyes as a spiky hair guy. We only have two spiky hair guys left, and they are both cyclopses. That doesn't seem correct, because we need one, two, three, all three of our cyclopses. Oh, we have four cyclopses. Well, three of them have to go over here, but the two over here have to have the same eyes. So let's try changing that up. Let's put her... well, no. Because they, they're not going to show the same feet if we do that. So it does have to be propellers. Oh, 
Did they make a typo with this? Because this really, they really feels like they made a typo with this. I don't know where this guy's supposed to go. Like, at all. Hmm. Oh, wait, hang on. It's coming together now. So we need a bow tied guy, or a propeller guy, over here. Cyclops with spiky hair. Then we need a Cyclops over here, and a Cyclops over here, and then just a roller skating guy over here. You've done quite well. Yes. Yes. And the most satisfying sound effect in the whole game. <laughs> That's the stone rise on the hardest difficulty. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And I'm done. I'm done with story mode. All, everything else that I do is on practice ah, mode. Also check this out. out of the woods, shall we say? Get them through the next part yeah, of the that's journey, a lot and of zumbinis. these zumbinis are home free. I have 128 zumbinis in the shade tree, almost as many as we have in Zumbiniville, and there's still over 300 zumbinis on Zumbini Isle. No way I'm saving them all. Let's just see our last prize. It's a playground. Oh, that's cool. This playground was pitched to honor the zumbinis who calmed Captain Cajun, rode tattooed toads and knew how to network when traveling was very, very hard. Few things are more accurate to describe those three logical puzzles as very, very hard does. But we've done it! Every world on every difficulty completed with random zumbinis every time. Excellent. All right, that concludes the main part of this Let's Play. But that Let's Play is not over yet, because in case you forgot what I said in the first uh, video, what I'm going to do in uh, for the next part is I'm going to go over every single puzzle on every single difficulty, or at least all the difficulties where the puzzle is different. So Titanic Tattoo Toads might be like the one puzzle where I'm like, no, I'm not going to do that, uh, do separate videos for very hard and very, very hard. But I'm basically going to go over... I'm not sure whether I'm going to go over every possible solution to them or if I'm just going to go over the best solutions to them. So those should be interesting watches. They'll also be incredibly short and I'll probably upload, I'll basically probably take one level and upload all of the solutions to all the difficulties in one day and then move on to the next one. So that should be interesting. I'm still not exactly sure how it's going to go, but I do know they're going to be interesting watches. So thanks for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. Thank you for taking this journey of the Zumbinis with me, and I hope to see you in the future. Until we meet again, have a great day, and God bless.